What? I need help. With what? Killing. Oh killing. my god! <laughs> what are you doing? We're gonna go kill some oh my god! And hello beautiful people, welcome back. Let's go ahead and make this intro short, sweet, and to the point. Um, today we're gonna be diving in to some affordable makeup. We have some ColourPop, we have some newer drugstore from Revlon, the uh, the Skin Lights collection that they came out with. There's a highlighter and a bronzer. I also grabbed this while I was at the drugstore. This is the CoverGirl and Olay Advanced Radiance Foundation. Um, so I'm pretty excited to test that out. I've heard really good things. I have the new Infallible Powder from L'Oreal and just a bunch of other stuff. So without wasting a ton of time, let's go ahead and move the camera in and let's get started. Okay. <laughs> is that just like a little bit too close? I feel like it is. All right, so we're good and zoomed in, and because I'm testing out a new foundation, I just went ahead and I primed with my normal Tatcha Silk Canvas just so we could keep everything equal. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna start going in with this little guy here. Like I said, this is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Age Defying Makeup and Sunscreen. It says that it has SPF 10. You get one full fluid ounce, and I have it in the shade Ivory 105. So here is the packaging. It's just a standard plastic packaging. But what I like about this is the non oxidized factor. It's actually one of these, which it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's not the kind of bottle you can like take the lid off. It's the kind that as you pump, it'll bring the product up and uh, it makes it so the product inside doesn't oxidize, which is really, really nice. I like it anytime there's like skincare ingredients. I really like it when foundations do that. I'm just going to go ahead. I squirted out about two and a half ish pumps. Girl, she is thick, honey. Now to go in and apply this, I'm actually going to be testing something out that's a little bit different. Um, I know it doesn't look any different. It looks just like a real technique sponge, but I actually found this at Meyer, like probably, I want to say it was like maybe three or four ish weeks ago. It was a while ago and uh, it's their Studio M Pro Contour Sponge and it looks just like a real technique sponge, but I think it was maybe a couple dollars cheaper, maybe, I don't know, but I saw it and I wanted to test it out because it looks, I mean, it literally looks identical. So this is what I'm going to be using to apply it. I'm just going to, Ooh, oh my God. That smells really nice. It smells like like laundry detergent in like the best possible way. It's not building a ton of coverage. I thought this had more of a medium coverage. If I'm being honest, I uh, picked this up because I saw Manny do it with or use it um, in a sponsored video and his skin looked absolutely beautiful and I was like listen okay I need to at least try it and see what all the hype is about now that didn't build up very much coverage like you can see <laughs> like my entire jawline acne all of that is still out and about so I'm gonna take just a little bit more and I'm actually gonna try to build it up a little bit here with my Fenty foundation this is the 115 it's one of my favorite foundation brushes I'm just gonna see if that helps a little bit. Yeah, I don't think that I like the way that it looks with a brush. I prefer it, I think, with a sponge. With a brush, it's giving me like the tiniest amount of extra coverage, but it's making it look a little bit like thicker and chunkier just because the consistency of the foundation is naturally thick. Don't get me wrong, I think it looks nice on the skin, but I do feel like if you're gonna need extra coverage, you'll probably have to spot conceal or go in with a concealer, that sort of thing. Um, but as far as how the foundation just looks, I mean, in general on my skin, I think it looks really nice. It looks very healthy and very nice natural, which I like a lot. I like the way that it looks like over my cheeks and on my forehead. It looks very like my skin, but glowier and healthier. So that's good. For concealer, I didn't have a new drugstore concealer, but I did have one that I haven't tried in a very long time. And this is from ColourPop. It's their no filter concealer. And oh my God, I grabbed it in the shade too. And that is very light. I didn't realize it was that light. Oh crap. Might have, we might have to mix this a little bit um, because it looks, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a little bit light. Um, oops, let's, um, shite. Okay, <laughs> let's let's blend it in and like, let's see what she looks like here. Just on the one side. Yeah, she, that's very light. Okay, we're definitely gonna need a little bit of help. Here's one I haven't tried in a while. What about the Flower Beauty? This is the Flower Beauty L1, L2 Fair is the shade and it's their Light Illusion Concealer. This is gonna be way too dark. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, that's like <laughs> my skin tone. Awesome. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to mix these because you know what? I'm just, I'm a, I'm here now. I'm too far involved. So we're gonna mix those two together, not put that back in the container, and we're going to blend them out and see if we can create a decent color. Okay, that is much better. Yes, yes. See, now it doesn't look, ooh, ooh. That actually looks really pretty. <laughs> okay, so now that I feel like we're actually moving into this video. I'm one of those people, and I don't know if I'm the only one, you guys can tell me down below. I am the type that like, 
with my personality, if I start talking and I don't, and I don't start putting on my makeup first, I will literally never put my makeup on. I'll just sit here with no makeup on for 20 minutes, talk to the camera and then go, oh shit, <laughs> I should have put on some makeup. So if you're ever like, man, she just tries to cannonball through this thing, I don't have much of a choice. You're either gonna get application or I'm gonna sit there and talk for a half hour and that's just, that's just no good for anybody. So um, that's, that's why I kind of have to catapult myself in. But now that I think we are going, you know, we're in a better place, we're in a better moment now um, with the makeup situation. Both of those are blended into together. I did want to mention something because like you guys know on last Friday I didn't put up a video and uh which sucked by the way. I know so many of you by the way thank you for like all the well wishes and the prayers. I had it on every platform and it was so sweet and you guys are so amazing and I know that I did a horrible job at like getting back and thanking you each individually but I just wanted to say thank you because it means so much. Um but I wanted to also mention that I was on Instagram and throughout this entire thing I'm making a bigger effort to be over there more to talking to you guys because I don't want any of my people like those of you that follow me I know a lot of you do so because of like the chronic illness factor and, and having that support um, because finding people to support you through chronic illness, whether it's mental or physical or emotional or whatever, it can be really hard to find those people. And I don't want you to think that you're alone just because now there's this big thing. Like if anything, I think we need each other more than not. And um, I just wanted to let you know that I am over on Instagram. I was over there a ton on Saturday. I was posting pictures of my cats and my dogs and um, hanging out with you guys like while I clean my bathroom, talking about TikTok videos, which by the way, um, um, we'll get into that in a second, but just so you guys know, moral of my story, um, if you are looking for like additional page time content, you just want to get away, go check me out on Instagram because um, I do my best to stop in over there and hang out with you. Even if it's just a goofy, funny post, it's just, it's a way to keep things fun or keep them a little bit more lighthearted. So I just wanted to put that out there. But anyways, I want to set my under eyes really quickly. This is a new powder. This is from L'Oreal. It's their infallible loose setting powder. It says it is lightweight controls shine and I have it in the shade 612 translucent for light to medium and one of the things that I really liked about this and I don't think you can see it well, you might be able to a little bit. Um, the actual color of it, I liked that it was translucent, but with a tint, uh, because for me, like untinted, like straight up white translucent powders, girl, don't even, like please stop. I, I mm, Get them away from me. They make me look like Casper is living under my eyeballs and like on my face, and I just can't get down with that. Like I naturally am that pasty, I don't need help. Also, one guess who has tweezers now next to her little thing, haha, <laughs> me, uh, for such a moment that I have to open one of these stupid plastic containers. Oh. Got it. Anybody else grit your teeth when you do stuff like that? I'm like, Arr! I'm not mad, but I just feel like I need to Hulk Hogan that thing right open. <laughs> okay, so this has a really nice shade to it. I actually appreciate that it's not super duper dark. Um, it looks like it could be a little bit deep once I apply it to my under eye, but that's pretty common. We'll just have to brighten it up later. Um, as far as the consistency goes, it's very finely milled, similar and along the same lines of like the Fenty powder, that sort of thing. I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm only going to apply this first through the T-zone and under my eyes. So I'm just patting these back out. Gotta get rid of all those creases. While I set the rest of my T-zone, okay, let's go ahead and talk about this thing the world calls TikTok. I call it wasting my life 15 hilarious seconds at a time. Guys, I do not know, okay? I do not know how it happened. I don't know. I clicked a video and it was a link and it brought up TikTok and I had downloaded the app because I wanted to watch another video. So the app was already there. Next thing I know, it's been two hours and I am sitting in my bathroom, which I was cleaning, like I was cleaning the mirror, cleaning the sink, cleaning everything, you know, wiping the floor with my hands and knees. Next thing I know, I'm sitting with the seat down on the toilet, sitting on the toilet with my back up against the wall, just sitting there scrolling through TikTok and I'm like, with my arm on the toilet tank. And I'm like, <laughs> what is your life? Get up and do something. No, could, I couldn't be bothered. I had to sit there for literally like an hour and a half, two hours. I don't even know how much time passed, honestly. And I just watched TikTok videos. And in that moment, it occurred to me, oh my God, this is what all the kids are doing. And I understand now because some of the slapstick humor I watched, guys, it was brilliant. And I think that I figured out finally why so many people love TikTok. And it took me, you know, these hours of incessant staring and watching and clicking and scrolling to figure it out. But it's because it appeals to every person's individual sense 
sense of humor and they kind of like you know sort you by demographic based on you know when you heart and when you scroll past or something I don't know but it's the fact that finally everyone can have their own sense of humor like if you have dark humor if you have stupid humor dog humor cat humor you know just whatever prank humor it's all on there and there's even informational videos there's dance videos like I caught myself trying to learn <laughs> no trying to learn um I caught myself trying to figure out how to do the what's that this one the the, the Carlton Charles Charles the Carlton Charleston Charleston Chew Carl Charleston it's the <laughs> it's definitely not the Charleston Chew Pew oh my word I'm just I'm not okay uh but it's the one where you put your feet down and you're like eh, oh yeah that <laughs> That also doesn't help you. Wow. Um, but anyways, it's a dance and I caught myself trying to learn it. Now, could I learn it? No. Um, I'm like the most uncoordinated little beaver in the bunch. I can't figure my life out. When it comes to dancing, I'm like, got the cabbage patch. Okay, I think that's this one where you're just like, yeah, bring it around, bring it around. I have that one. There's the sprinkler, right? I got like the typical white moves. And then the shopping, which for me is the shopping. <laughs> Get it? Digital, online. Yes, add to cart, add to cart. Those are like the kind of moves that I have. I don't have this, yeah, and then rhythm and move, pick your legs up. Pick your legs up. Girl, I want to pick my legs up. They're heavy. I don't want to pick those up. They're, they weigh a substantial amount. I don't want to pick them up. Got the Diet Coke. Yeah. Ah, ah. That's how you do the Diet Coke. You're welcome. All right, so next up, guys, I we're about ready to dive into one of the moments I'm the most excited for in my life uh, because we're gonna talk about these Milani Cheek Kiss blushes. If anybody cares about the makeup, I mean, I could just keep dancing for you. <laughs> no one wants that. Uh, but these are the Milani New Cheek Kiss Liquid Blushes. Did I just say that? I might have, I don't know, but new blushes. And uh, I have been holding on to these and like hoarding them in my collection for probably the last like three weeks. However long ago they came out, I bought them right after that because you guys know me at this point, like I love Love, love cream liquid blushes. I think they're so good. Guys, these are so, I picked great shades. Okay, so the first one, the one that I just applied, which is this nice rosy one, this is the shade 140 Rose Romance. The bright one in the middle there, it's uh, called 130 Cheeky Coral. And on my hand right here, swatched, it looks more like a bright orange. And even in real life, it looks more orange than coral, but maybe once you apply it, it like mixes with your skin. I don't know, mixes with your skin, Ew. Ew, that sounds bad. I meant like maybe it plays off of the heat coming from your skin. I don't want it to mix with my skin, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, but it does look a little bit more orange than I anticipated. And then the brown one or the browner tone right there is Nude Flush, shade 110. So I think I'm actually gonna go in with some of that. I'm just gonna pop a little bit more on my hand here. And then I'm gonna grab my sponge here, just take a clean little portion of it and kind of dab it around and start going in here. Hey guys, so I put on what I think is a fair amount and like I can barely see that. Like, so there's none over here, some over here. Can you hardly see a difference or is it just me? Like, I feel like I can barely see that. That's so odd. Okay, I'm gonna take a different shade. I'm gonna grab the rosy shade and we're gonna put that on the other side because I, I feel like there, I'm, maybe it's just like the tone mixing with like the tone of the foundation. It could be anything. You know, when you test out all new products, it, it literally could be anything not working with something else. Just gonna kind of throw that all over the cheekbone, like the whole cheek swath right there. See, that one shows up and it looks really pretty. How come the other side is like, I don't know. The other side just seems so not there and I don't know why. I'm gonna do both sides with the pinky tone. Now to go in and set the rest of the face, this is something that a ton of you guys recommended to me and I had it sitting out in my bin. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and it says that it's a lightweight mattifying powder that lasts up to five hours. All right, so I think that that looks pretty good. I lightly just set the entire face and uh, I went in very specifically with more of a light kind of pouncy hand because with this foundation that I'm using, the CoverGirl one, I wanna make sure that I don't dust away any coverage that that I am getting from the, the liquid foundation. So I can't decide if I wanna finish my face or not. I think I do. I like doing my entire face and then my eyes last because then I can like really buff all of my product in and I don't have to worry about like smearing my eyebrows off my face. So I think I'm gonna go in next with bronzer. So I have these two new guys. They're both from Revlon. And obviously first up, we're gonna focus on the bronzer. This is the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Bronzer and I have it in the shade 110 Sunlit Glow. Okay, so before I even touch this, 10 out of 10, guys, on the press in this pan. Look at how pretty that is. It has a nice amount of glow. It has a beautiful design. That is so aesthetic. I love that. Like, if you were to just look at this part of it, you'd be like, yeah, that could easily be a Dior press or, or like some fancy ass company because it looks so pretty, uh, but it's Revlon. So let's go ahead and do a little swatch. Wow, that feels nice. <gasps> oh my 
gosh. Okay, it definitely has a glow to it. Oh my God, but the, it feels so silky. I can't get over how nice that feels. Okay, I'm gonna grab my 202 Flawless Powder. This is from It Cosmetics. It's part of their It For Ulta line, and it's a nice duo fiber, so it's got a good fluff to it. And we're gonna just kind of throw this in here, get like a good coating, throw it off, and then lightly apply. This color is so nice. It's so seamless. It has a beautiful glow. Oh my God, I love this. Holy cow. I don't think it could possibly translate on camera how pretty that looks. Almost forgot here, I gotta grab my little Kaleidos H1. I love to use this. It has a nice profile for me to just hit my nose a little bit here. A little bit tightening in on the sides. I need help. What? I need help. With what? Kill oh my god! <laughs> what are you doing? Have a pill from oh my god. So guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you can't see what just happened because obviously this is the scope of my camera. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little a little cell phone footage, if you will, of, of what, what just happened in here. Uh, my dad just walked in and gave me a little... <laughs> <laughs> you've never seen my dad, and uh, you've never done... No one's seen... I've never seen him like this. Yeah. <laughs> your oh, your oh, oh, my... my oh, so I need to stop it <laughs> oh, my God. Dad. Um, I don't know what else. Whatever else you think. <laughs> Where are you going like this, Dad? We're gonna go kill us some cologne. Are we're you? Kill us in town. You're gonna go. <laughs> Is that a garbage bag? Like, isn't he just the best? He tries so, he's he's really been trying to like lighten the mood and, and be a little bit, you know, of a comic relief for mom and I. Uh, because I, you know, normally that's my department, but like lately I haven't been feeling the best. And you can tell he's like picking up the slack in the most dad joke way. It was perfect. <laughs> a garbage bag. <laughs> I love that he took a garbage bag and he just put his head through it. You know, I think what got me the most is I didn't realize that that was a toilet bowl cleaner in his hand. It was because I was like so just I don't have my glasses on, so I'm overtaken by this. Oh my god, he's got a he's got a shield for like when you grind on when you grind on stuff. For those of you that don't know, there's like big metal grinders and it throws a bunch of smart sparks. And he had a cutting shield on, and I'm like, he's wearing a cutting shield. What does he have? And I was so busy putting together the rest of the outfit down to the knee pads. <laughs> that he had on <laughs> and his black Crocs, which I think is just great. And then I, it, I'm like, oh my God, that's a toilet bowl cleaner. Whew, okay, sorry, I just, I had to like wrap my mind around everything. So let's go ahead and talk about, God, let's go ahead and talk about powder blush, shall we? This is the, <laughs> sorry, this is the Revolution Pro. It's their 4K blush palette. And I thought that I'd used this on camera before, but evidently I hadn't, because obviously it's still new. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this. Later on in another video, at some point when I do like makeup I never tested, I have the other palettes that go with this. There's like a highlight palette, and a bronzing contour palette. Um, so we'll test those out later. But for today, let's go ahead and, you know, just tear this little guy off, get out of here. Again, I could have put that in the trash, but honestly, you know what? At this point, I'm just gonna be honest with you. This whole room is just a garbage can. Like, I sit here and it's like a moat of just crap <laughs> around me. Okay, so these actually are really pretty. <laughs> That's, that is interesting. So swatch them out. Look at how all of these are like in the same family. You've got like an orangey tone, you know, kind of like a coral orange, this one. And then there's just like a pink shimmer up top. <laughs> like, I don't know what that one's all about. I'm gonna go in with this tone right up here. Like I said, that's like the more peachy of all the tones. And I'm gonna grab this ColourPop brush. Um, I don't know what it is because it doesn't say, but it's just good and fluffy and stained because I like to use this for blush. And this is a very powdery blush. Can you? I don't think you can see it, but it's very powdery. You're gonna wanna be very mindful, you know, kick it off a lot. Let's go ahead and just stamp a little bit of that on. Ooh, I like that color actually. So it did get a little bit intense right through here. And I don't, I don't know how this happened. It's probably just because I have a very heavy hand, but I'm gonna take my same big old Scott Barnes, the 67, and I'm gonna go in with some Hourglass. This is the Ethereal Light. Obviously, it's not a part of the video, but this is something that I reach for anytime I need to like soften something or uh, blend it out because it gives me a really nice finely milled powder that I can blend the color out with and it kind of leaves behind like a nice radiance to it. So it'll give me a little bit of that, you know, glow to the skin without mattifying. Sorry, hold on. Uh, my lips are just feeling all kinds of crusty. I don't, I don't like it. It's not good. So next up, I've never tried anything from this brand before. It's called Arches and Halo, and it says Tonia Crooks, to Tonia Crook Professional Brow. Um, I don't, I don't know. I saw them at Walgreens, and I thought they'd be cool to test out. Grabbed an eyebrow pencil and a in warm brown and a dark brown um, gel. It looks like, and it says that they are what is it? Leaping Bunny approved, cruelty free, vegan, hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, and ophthalmologist tested. 
wow. I think that that's everything we need to know. So let's go ahead and start off with the pencil. As I said, I have this in the shade Warm Brown. It has about a medium press on it, I would say. You do have to, you know, press a little bit, uh, but it's not super, like, super duper creamy, which is good for me. I prefer a medium press because I feel like you can get those nice, you know, this kind of thing a little bit better. It makes hair-like strokes easier. Then plus when it's super creamy, I think that you waste a lot of product because it just glides out so easily. I think that looks, that looks pretty good actually. And the spoolie on this is really nice. I feel like I'm not using too much product. I'm getting like the perfect amount. And the color is actually really good too. It's a nice light color. So now with those done, we're gonna move on to the brow gel, which Hello. Okay, so now that it took me three hours, let's go ahead and go in with this brow gel. Like I said, I have this in the shade Dark Brown, I believe. Yeah, Dark Brown. And this is called their Microfiber Tinted Brow Mousse. Oh boy. Um, it's actually longer, kind of like a mascara tube. I really like these little tiny bristles. Can you see how small those are? It's, oh, that's, that's good for me because I don't have a ton of brow hair, so it makes it really easy to control. It actually makes my brows look kind of fluffy. I don't think you can see a difference on camera, but I have it on this side, none over here. And I like that it like really feathered the, the front part right here. It really feathered the front part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so while I was off really quickly, I just went ahead and I applied a little bit of my Hourglass Concealer for a base because it's time for eyeshadow and I'm so excited. Um, this is the Sailor Moon palette from ColourPop and I am, I feel like the best old person right now. This brings me back to my childhood. <gasps> oh my God, that's so cute. Let's go ahead and look inside. These are the colors. Oh, this is like right up my alley right now. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, um, we're gonna play around. I'm gonna have a little fun with color, be a little spicy. Not too spicy, but a little bit fun and pastel-y. So I think I'm gonna start off with yellow right here. This is my Scott Barnes 62. I'm gonna go in first with that shade, and I'm actually gonna tuck it up into like this inner area right here. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. It has like a little bit of sparkle to it. It's like a, a, almost like a satin shade with sparkle added. I like that color. So guys wanna know something fun? I just had a full conversation with myself while I blended both of those yellows because my SD card was full and apparently I missed it. So now that we have the yellow applied, we're gonna go in with this pink shade right next to it. And uh, I'm gonna actually have a conversation with you because now I can and it will record. Ooh. Oh, I like that color. But I wanted to mention over the weekend, I uh, asked over on Instagram, I was thinking about doing that unedited get ready with me, which I talked about a few videos ago and a bunch of you guys would love to see it. And as I said on Instagram, I have to have, you know, some topics of conversation, but I wanted to open it up over here as well that if there's anything you would like to, you know, hear me talk about um, or that you think would be a good topic of conversation, I am all ears and you can drop it down below. Uh, over on Instagram, I had some really good ones. I had like the, you know, if you you had this much money and you were going to a desert island in Alta, like what, what would you buy? That sort of thing. And then of course, you know, I had some more serious ones too, like medically or what does your channel mean? And then what were some other ones? Oh, someone asked me what my favorite uh, friends episode was. And then uh, like, what are some good shows I like to watch? Like I've had a, a big variety of question, like what's your favorite board game, anything like that, that you guys want to leave down below, like random questions, serious questions, whatever, leave it down, leave it down there in the comments because I'm taking screenshots of everything. And that way we've got some stuff to talk about. So I wanted to put that over here as well. And uh, now as far as the eye look goes, I'm gonna dive into this purple shade and put that on the outer portion of the eye. Just so y'all know that we're still actually doing something over here. This is like way more color than what I'm used to. Not exactly sure when I'm gonna get to film that unedited Get Ready With Me, but I'm hoping to do it soon because I think right now would be a good time for people to have a little a little bit longer video, just hang out like a super duper chit chatty type thing. Oh, along those same lines, I wanted to also mention that if there's um, another type of video that you'd like me to film or that you think would be cool or anything, let me know down below. You can leave that there, thoughts, opinions. I love hearing from you guys, you know, anything that I can do to help you know, help you guys right now, kind of take your mind off of stuff, whatever. That's why I'm not talking about it because we're here to like get a break from the world. But if there is anything, drop it down below. As far as my lid goes, I love this shade. This is Luna. And I was like, I could have just popped that over my entire lid. Let's swatch. Ooh, that's really pretty. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's a beautiful shade. I like that. Um, let's go ahead and, oh, oh, there's a uh, Silver Millennium. I didn't realize it. That's a, one of their Super Shocks. All right, so I think for this shade, I was just playing around, just like see what I wanted to do. The uh, the Super Shock shade right here, hello, right here, it's really pretty, um, but I do think it needs some sort of a base because just playing around with it, I'm not really getting like that intense pop that I need. So what I'm gonna do instead is go in with some of my NYX glitter glue right here. I just have a little on my finger. 
And I'm going to run it up nice and high into my crease, really follow that orbital bone up there. I'm gonna go in with the shade Silver Crystal, which is a really pretty like pinky shimmer. Ooh, that's nice. That shade I'm gonna keep mainly tucked on the inner portion of the eye and then on the outer portion, portion on the outer portion, uh, we're gonna go in with the shade Luna, which is this purple color. We're gonna kind of pop that on the outer V right here. Just a freckle and kind of blend it in. Ooh, as you can tell, I love using my fingers for shadows. I can't help it. I know a lot of people hate using their fingers, but I feel like I can really um, like feel the, the bone structure and it helps me place my shadows better. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I think I wanna take over top of that purple a little bit of Mare Essentials, which is this really pretty like glittery type shade. And it's just a little extra, you know, pizzazz. I'm gonna pop that on top of it. And then over top in the center, I'm gonna grab this one. This is the uh, the Super super Shock Shadow. And I'm gonna pop that on top and then like run it right up through the orbital bone because it'll really give me some nice definition. Ooh, look at that, it looks like a peacock, y'all. My eyeball's looking like a peacock and I love it. Yes, please, yes. I think I'm gonna take some of that silver crystal, which is that first nice light pink shade, and I'm gonna pop that on the lower lash line. And then take a little bit of the Luna, which is that nice purple shimmer, and then run that. I don't want it to be like a super pronounced lower lash line, but I want it to have just a little bit of color, just a little bit of something to like frame in the eye. All right, so super quickly, I did have to run off of camera and I had to take a phone call actually, but while I was off, I, uh, I finished up my eyes and I love the way that this looks. It looks so cute and fun and bright and I'm here for it. Like we all need a little, we all need a little bit of bubblegum sherbet feeling eyeballs right now. Am I right? Yes. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the face. And I think for that, we're going to start spraying. And I did pick up a new spray. Well, it's, it's new-ish, new to me. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mist for all day wear. Go ahead and check that mist first. Ooh, ooh. It has like a cucumber smell to it. So definitely fragrance. Oh, and I'm literally looking and it says cucumber extract. Okay, so there's definitely that. But other than that, it doesn't smell too bad. The fragrance is a little bit stronger than I would like, but the mist is really good. Gotta let it dry, gotta let it dry, got to, got to, got to, gotta let it dry, ooh. I think as far as this goes, I would say it's more of like a natural leaning, slightly matte finish. I, can, I can't like see anything, see any real difference on my skin. All right, so now I'm just gonna open this up. It's the new highlight from Revlon. It's their Prismatic Highlighter, and I have it in the shade 201 Daybreak Glimmer. Okay, so there's another super beautiful pan. Oh my God, the press on that is so cute. Let's go ahead and do a little swatch. Ooh, it feels nice. <gasps> Ooh, hmm, I'm excited. All right, let's go ahead and let's let's apply. Actually, you know what? Before I apply, I want to use a little bit. Look at me. I'm just like pretending it's in my hand. I need to use some of my Morphe setting spray. I want to make sure that I give this the best shot. And that means I need to set my face a little bit more. I can see a little bit of like a powdery finish up here. And this will help take that away. Page, you can finish spraying before you talk. For the brush, I'm actually gonna go in with this little e.l.f. This is their Jelly Pop Stipple Brush. This is what they released that you were supposed to use with your uh, their weird like Jelly Pop blush things, which I did not like. But the brush itself is actually like a nice, um, like round, but also slightly duo fibered. And I like using it for a highlight because it's a really good like targeted, you know, area type brush. How do I wanna, I wanna start over here. That way you guys can see it. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Oh, it's so pretty. Guys, this is no joke. Do you see how pretty that is? Oh, wow. The mill of this is so perfect. It's so lightweight. It's not chunky at all. And it leaves you with the most like beautiful refined shine you've ever seen. Girl, that's good. I am refining and I am shining. Yes, please. Honey, y'all know I love me a good chalupa chin. You see that? Mm hmm I want it extra greasy, ex extra greasy. I want it greasy and crispy and all kinds of spees because it's good. Okay, let's go ahead. Now we're gonna move on to mascara. I need to like pick up the pace a little bit. Uh, this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. I heard really good things about this from 
I don't know who, but I feel like I saw a YouTuber talk about this, a couple of them maybe. All right, so she's a girthy little wand with little mini spikes. It kind of reminds me if you had like a the Billy Club with little spikes on it. That's what this looks like. Uh, so that's th there's an interesting image for you. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead here and curl up my lashes. This is my e.l.f. lash curler. All right, so I went in with about three coats on each side, which is pretty standard for me because I don't wear lashes. Um, and, and I do like the way it looks. I think it would work based on the consistency and how it looks right now. I think this would be an excellent candidate for like the Milani primer that you can use to prime for mascara. I think this would work really well with that, so I'll probably try it later. But I actually went ahead and I left my lower lashes blank because I wanted to play around with this. It's from Sinful Colors and it's the Stop and Stare Gel Eyeliner and I have it in the shade Seductive and it looks kind of like a metallic pink type color and I thought it could look really pretty on my lower lash line. Ooh, look at that. Can you see? Well, you can barely see it, but it's like a really pretty, nice light pink shimmer. It's actually a beautiful color. Um, so let's go ahead and pop that onto the lower lash line. All right, so that gives a really nice light, like understated, something's on my lower lash line, but it's not overwhelming. And I think it like very gently helps open up my eyes a little bit, which I'm a fan of. And then for the upper waterline, I'm gonna take this one. This is from Marc Jacobs and it's in the shade Glitter Bug. And it's like a dark brown meets black with a little glitter in it. So it won't be quite as harsh as a regular black eyeliner, but it'll still give me that little bit of depth. All right, so from there, we're ready to go ahead and move into lips. And I did pick up one of the little lip kits from the Sailor Moon collection here. This is the Daylight Lip Bundle. Ooh, those colors. <gasps> These are even better in real life. Okay, we have the Ultra Blotted Lip, which is in the shade Usagi, and then the Ultra Glossy Lip, which is in Moon Tierra. So first up, we're gonna go in with the Ultra Blotted Lip. And I haven't played with this formula like since they came out with it, so. I don't remember what I think of it. All right, so this one is on and applied. I think it looks a little bit like more hot pink in real life versus like a muted rose that it looks like in the container. But uh, on top of that, let's go ahead and throw on some of the Ultra Glossy Lip. These ones have that weird little bristle applicator that I'm not a big fan of, but that's okay. And all right, you guys, with that, we have completed the face. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up an up close so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, overall, as far as what I'm seeing up close, I like pretty much everything that I use. The only thing that I'm not really loving is the foundation. And I'm not sure if that's like just the skin day that I'm having. I'm, I'll have to work with it some more. Now I do want to run through a couple thoughts really quickly. And I'm going to start with this lip bundle because I actually, as someone who has a very difficult time with like texture on her lips and being able to stack multiple items, like I'm not one of those people that can put down like a, say a Maybelline lipstick or a full coverage lipstick and then put a gloss on top of it. Like it's, it's just too much on my lips. It feels thick and cakey and I have like that that fibro autoimmune type thing where I just I, I can't handle that type of texture and so I, I really appreciate this approach because the ultra blotted lip is very very thin and it almost like dries down to a powder but it gives you a nice base and it still gives you the color to go in with like you would if you had a lipstick and then you can pop the gloss on top of it and still get a similar effect so as someone with that type of an issue I actually really appreciate um, a different perspective and I think the packaging is also really really cute for this collection. The palette I do really like. I'll have to play around with it a little bit, but I think the colors that I played with, they were super fun and bright and poppy, and I like the aesthetic, like the whole look of the collection I thought was very aesthetically pleasing, and uh, the, the shadows went on. They, I didn't have any issues with them. Nothing was patchy. I do think that the ones that had the glitter infused, which were like the yellow and the pink, those had a little bit more kick to them than I would like in pan. They were like very fluffy, so be mindful. Now, some other things that really stood out to me as being like, holy cow, wow, but, holy cow wow could I sound more northern Michigan holy gee willikers wow cow sorry um but the Revlon skin lights the bronzer and the highlight I am obsessed with like this highlight is just so unbelievably beautiful I think as far as all the products that I touched I've you know kind of updated on all of them so let me know your thoughts and opinions down below do you love any of these already in your day-to-day -day life do you have any tips or tricks that uh, like for example with the foundation have you tried it do you think like oh Paige I've tried it this way and it works really well like any anything like that please leave it down below um I love hearing from you guys and truth be told I get some of my 
my best information from y'all. So leave it in the comments. And then of course, like I mentioned as well, if you want to check me out Instagram and on Twitter, both of those will be linked down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that as well. I do, for the most part, put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So if you want to come back and hang out, I would love it if you stick around, subscribe, turn on your bell notifications. And guys, that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Somebody come get her. She dancing like a stripper. Hey. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope that you guys are ready. I went ahead and I pulled a bunch of product. We're going to be low. And hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope everyone is here and I hope you're here. I hope that you're here. <sighs> Why is it so hard to be me? <laughs> also, when I had what I... Oh, look, 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 look. All right, now... <laughs> I literally have alfalfa on my head. Look at that. <laughs> Al love alfalfa. <laughs> oh. <laughs>